Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make scone based pizzas. Now, a scone based mini pizza, as the name suggests, is a regular pizza, a bit smaller, hence the mini. And the base, instead of using a, a bread base, we're going to use a scone base. So, in order to make uh, the scone part, we have, we need self-raising flour. I've got 200 grams of self-raising flour here. And we need 50 grams of fat. And the process to make um, a scone, or a scone base, is similar to how we start off making any regular pastry. We're using what we call the rubbing in method. So I'm gonna enter my 50 grams of fat into my flour. And using my fingertips only, I'm going to rub the fat into the flour until it resembles fine breadcrumbs. 50 mils of water. You could also use milk if you wanted to, or you can also add an, an, an egg. Now, because I'm not adding an egg, the egg, an egg would give a little bit of added moisture as well. So I'm gonna add a touch more water, just to help our mixture come together. So about another 50 mils. So in total, about 100 mils in total. And as we're mixing, you can see it's going to start to come together. Next, I'm going to put my hands in. Now, I'm not looking to knead this. I'm really just looking to combine. Okay, so we've got our dough now. Now, thickness-wise, try to aim for about the thickness of a pound coin. Okay, you each time you roll it, you move it to make sure it's not sticking. So I think that's about it. That's about the thickness of a pound coin. What I'm going to do now is cut out some shapes, put them on the tray, and then like any regular pizza, a bit of tomato sauce, mixed toppings, boom in the oven. It's really, really quick and easy to make. Now to make the tomato sauce part of our mini pizzas, you could just use tomato puree. For mine, I've used some tomato puree, a little bit of ketchup, some garlic, a bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt, and a little bit of black pepper. Now, if you like, you could probably use barbecue sauce as your base instead of tomato puree, or add a little bit of barbecue sauce or ketchup to the tomato puree to give it a little bit of a, a tang, a bit of an extra, extra flavour. Entirely up to you. Now, sometimes green looks better when you put it on the very end um, because as it cooks, it will cook right down. But a little bit of green, I think, works well. The aim is to try and make each one roughly the same, probably roughly about the same on each one. Next, I'm going to put on some onions. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on some, uh, some sweet pepper. And then finally, I'm going to top some cheese. Now, the particular cheese I'm using, I'm using vegan cheese, but you can use any cheese you like. Final touch, a little bit of thyme, and then I've got a little bit of chicken seasoning which has you know coriander seeds and various things in it not altogether 100 percent essential but i just like a bit of seasoning sprinkle a bit of this on top there we are ready to go in the oven here they are fresh out of the oven now these look well tasty as always, proof of pudding is in the eating. So let's let's see what this tastes like. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try one, but just purely for your benefit, obviously not for mine. Oh, tip number one: wait until it cools down a little bit. Oh, really? Mmm, really delicious. The base, the, the base. Really, really light, fluffy, and the top tastes like a pizza. Um, the onions are caramelized perfectly, all the flavor, beautiful, really, really tasty dish. It's a great, um, simple dish to make for a kids' party or even a roll up party as a starter. Absolutely delicious. And there we have it tasty scone based pizzas, quick, easy, and you can make them really as healthy as you like. These particular ones are vegan and they are absolutely delicious. 
So, thanks for joining me at Food Tech 101. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to be kept up to date with all the latest videos. My name is Mr. Lieber, but you can call me Sir. Bye.